Ciao Familia, welcome to another YouTube video and today I'm going to take you through my full leg slash glute focused workout because I feel like it's been ages since we actually done this and um, also before we start don't forget to like and subscribe and um, as a sort of um, preview, um, no disclaimer actually, preview what am I saying. This is a workout that works for me. As always, I always encourage you to explore different variations of different exercises, or even that I do. So for example, different variations of squats, because if something doesn't feel right to you, you can also do another variation. For example, if barbell squats don't feel right for you, you could do goblet squats or, um, split squats maybe change directly. I always start my leg workout, always, always do this, and I encourage you to do the same, um, to do some dynamic stretches, to prep your joints, because guys, I told you in the past as well, because I always used to skip this little part, and I used to go straight into my workout, not worrying about it. I used to warm up, but not do dynamic stretches for my joints. And then I started squatting heavy and I ended up with a hip impingement, okay? So that's why it's so important to work on the mobility of your joints. So I'm not skipping it anymore. I had to get burned before understanding this. So please do not get um, to the same level as me. Do it before you get burned, okay? So what I do, I need a long resistance band. I showed you in the past, so I'm going to do this very quickly because you know, you guys know what I do. I literally just the extremity in inside the loop okay this is really really easy I already showed you in the past so just gonna go over it really quickly just literally on my hip area like so lean forward and push out Right now, I'm also stretching my ankles. But this one again, just really important. Basically, you grab a plate, hands in between your knees, and twist your torso from one side to the other. Now, really important to keep your foot flat on the floor and try not to lift it, okay? You feel the stretch on your calves as well. And then a bit more hip mobility. I don't actually warm up my glutes anymore now. Um, just because, I don't know, um, I don't feel the need anymore. Um, you can still do it, but since I spent like a good 10 to 15 minutes doing all this, then doing the activation before the workout, just, you'll be too long. So I'm just not doing glute activation anymore just because I feel like it's not necessary. Um, but if you want to do it, you can do it. But since I'm doing this, I'm not doing glute activation anymore. I don't do more, any more fire hydrants and those hip thrusts with the band. I just go straight into my squats. But anyway, I'll show you what I mean. So I'll take you downstairs to do squats now. So, I always like to start with squats. Um, at the moment, I'm working on my form and trying to get as deep as I can, considering I've got a hip injury. I can't really go as deep, but I try my best, really. Obviously, stretching, um, like I showed you before, helps. So, I always start with a really light weight. So, I'm starting with 40 kilos, um, including the bar. And I always make sure I check my app. Um, to see how many reps I did the previous time because it's important you work towards progressive overload and you strive to do better than your previous session, right? So, if I have a look at, start an empty workout, um, squat, add. So actually, 
Last time, I started with 50 kilos. Oh no. So that means, you see, if I didn't have that written down, I wouldn't have known. Like I would have forgotten, I would have started with 40. So I'm gonna have to start with 50 now because last time I started with 50 and I don't wanna do less, if it makes sense. I wanna be able to beat myself, my previous session, if it makes sense. So I'm actually gonna add five then. I did 50 kilos times 15, so I did 15 reps. So in my head, I need to try to get at least 15 reps. If I can get 16, it's even better. Obviously, I'm beating myself, um, my previous self, if you're ready to beat my previous self. Anyway, let's just get into it. I'm gonna get my headphones on because I can't work out unless I've got music on. I don't know how people work out without music. I went a little bit higher on volume than last time, which is good. However, my bet wasn't great. So, got my band here. And what I normally do, I normally just do some more dynamic stretches before my next set just because they, it means that I haven't prepped my joints enough. I really hope that my hips will hurt less Sometimes there's some days that I, uh, my hips are fine, even with just with the stretches. And some other days that they don't allow me to reach a certain depth. So if it doesn't work, I'm just not gonna push it any more than I can because I'm just gonna listen to my body. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna increase the weight. So for my second set, last time I did 65. Oh, this is 50. 50? Yeah. 50, so. Just gonna add a more weight. Also, going to get this a little bit higher in case I need spotting, because this will serve your life in case you fail. So. to do 13, which is the same amount that I did last time. My hips are still um, bothering me. Um, they don't hurt um, after that stretch, but it's kind of like I can feel like stiffness. So I'm not gonna push it. Um, I'm just gonna do the depth that I can do with my hips at the moment. Um, I don't want to just um, injure myself just in case. I'm just going to listen to my body. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go slightly heavier now for my third set. Um, so I did 13. So I'm going to do 
75 kilos. So I'm just going to add 10 kilos. And I'm going to do aim for eight reps, which is because this is what I did last time. Um, I don't think I'm going to try and go higher. Um, but because I'm doing 75 kilos, past 70 kilos, I always use the belt. For anything else, I don't because I try to engage my core as much as possible. But um, past 70 kilos, um, I feel like I've worn the belt just to, for extra support. heavier because I'm struggling and my form is kind of like, like I'm collapsing so what I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna try and repeat this for another set and then I'll just see you for hip thrust. I'm not gonna overfilm this because it's actually gonna be the same way so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna rest two minutes three minutes maybe um, and then I'll see you for hip press. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do one more set actually, and I strip down all the weight. And yeah, I'm only doing 40 kilos now. So I'm going to try and focus on depth. And um, but of course, whatever my hips allow me to do. Um, taking off the belt because I don't need it for a lighter weight. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll be able to have a better form and my hips will not bother me as much, but we will see. much better depth this time I think I just needed to go a little bit lower in weight um, but yeah really pleased with myself that being said I'm gonna wrap this up and clean everything put everything back and I will see you go ahead first I'm going to try at 200 kilos um, although I did notice that even with squats I was a little bit weaker than normal um, it might be due to my cold, um, but I'm going to attempt it anyway and see if I can lift it. If I can't, I'll just, um, for the next set, I'll just um, decrease the weight, no problem. But it might be worth trying first, see how it is. Um, actually, a lot of you actually always ask me, why do I keep my band on? Um, I do it because mostly um, after I do my normal set I do a super set where I kind of abduct to the top um, but otherwise I don't know I've always kind of kept it and now it almost feels weird if I don't have it I'm gonna try and reach full extension I'm actually not doing hip thrust I'm doing the cast version when you don't go all the way down so you just basically rather than just go all the way down like that I literally just go like minimal just minimally down but then I need to make sure that I lock out at the top so let's see if I can achieve this now give me five give me five all the way up all the way up come push just push push
look at you actually enjoying a close-up of my fat face. <laughs> um, I'm just position this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do RDLs, and this is actually RDLs normally target your hamstrings and back more. So I'm going to show you a way on how to target your glutes more. Basically, you bend more at your knees which I will show you in a minute. And because it's an exercise that I just recently incorporated to my training, I don't want to go to, um, I don't want to go too heavy on that. I want to focus on form. I'm just going to focus on this weight, I'm stay here, and then on the last set, I'm going to do a light weight. So I'm not going to refill maybe because obviously you've seen me doing this. The weight already. So I'll see you for my isolation. No. Okay, so last exercise, I'm going to do a, an isolation exercise. So um, cable abduction. So I actually use a cable strap from Amazon, just really nice and easy. Um, because I don't like, um, actually sometimes it's just really hard to find one at the gym that has not been used and I think it's just easier to have your own actually. So, um, all I do really is just kick to the side. Um, I make sure I go really light with this one um, just because with isolation exercise you don't want to go too heavy. So, just slightly tilt my foot. So, rather than just facing forward, I slightly tilt it this way to so target this area of my glutes. Nice and simple. Just control the movement. I'm going to do about 15, three sets of this. Um, just solely lightly going to go up in weight, but not too heavy. Because remember, you're only targeting a small muscle, gluteus medius and minimus. So you don't need to go too heavy. Um, I'm not going to film the rest of them because the gym is busy and I'm basically doing the same thing, just going a little bit heavier. So just do this three times. Anyway, this is the last exercise, just doing abductions, abductor, abductor machine. Um, just not going too heavy. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going heavier. I'm doing 40, one set of 40 kg, one set of 65 kg, and the last of 80 kg and then I'm gonna go back to the lighter weight. Literally with this, um, I don't think you really need to see the whole, whole the set, all the sets, so I'm just gonna like film one of them. Actually my microphone is also dyed. So you might be hearing me a little bit more quietly, but it's fine. Anyway, I'm done with the workout now. Um, the only thing I'm going to do now is stretch. Um, remember, start the stretches only at the end. Don't do these kind of stretches at the beginning of your workout. Anything that involves holding your limbs or holding anything, um, your body in general, your muscles, for 30 to 60 seconds will actually affect your workout. So, um, if you want to do any stretches before you work out, you need to make sure you do dynamic stretches rather than static ones. Um, that being said, I'm just going to prep on now with my static stretches. Um, I'm just going to do this. Um, try to hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Anyway, um, that's it.
with the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like if you did. And I'll see you next time with another video.